Hello, thank you for joining me once again on Obesity Universal Statisticals. On today's video tutorial, we shall be looking at how to estimate and interpret panel ERDL using eViews. Okay, on our eViews page here, we have our data range from 2000 to 2020. And we're looking at about eight banks here, giving us 168 observations. Okay, the banks involved are here. We have from bank from the first bank here down to the last bank, which is about eight banks, as you can see them here. Okay. Now we have the variables of interest, we have CAR which is capital adequacy ratio, we have LVG which is leverage, we have ROA which is return on asset. The return on asset here which is ROA is the dependent variable while the LVG and CAR are the two independent variables. It is important for you to know that before you perform penny ARDL you must have conducted unit tests test on each of your variables to ensure there are no stationary at second difference, Okay, to ensure there are no stationary at order two. They have to be stationary at either first difference or mixture of order one and order zero. However, we're going to check whether each of these variables are stationary at second difference, okay, or of order one or order zero. Before performing two tests on each of these variables, okay, we're going to regress them on each constant and trend to check if they are both statically significant and constant and trend. If they are, we'll retain them when performing the unit test. However, if they are not, we're going to restrict them. For us to do that, simply click quick. Click estimate equation. So we regress each of these variables starting with CAR space C space at trend. Okay, we regress it at constant and trend to check if they are both statically significant. The method should be least square. Simply click OK. As you can see here, the constant here is statically significant. The reason being the probability value here is less than 0 0.05. The trend also is statically significant at 5%. Okay, if you are using 5% level of significance. As you can see here, the probability value here is less than 0.05, which shows that our constant and trend are both statically significant at 5%. Okay, meaning when performing neutral tests on CAR, I'll retain the constant and the trend. Okay, simply close this. Okay, for us performing neutral tests on CAR, I'll simply double click this, then click view, click neutral test. On that test step here, we'll have various forms of uh, various form tests of uh, uh, testing for any truth. We'll have various forms. Of testing for any truth however i'm going to rely on edf okay leaving it on summary if we leave it on summary here and perform any truth test it's simply going to give you the result of all of them however i'm going to select edf for my own um, test of unit truth okay now under automatic light selection criteria you click this then you click clicking this button here gives you various forms of light selection criterions as you can see them here however i'm going to rely on source information criterion for this particular analysis I'll leave it on levels. Now, when I perform neutral test, when I performed, um, when I regress CAR on its constant and trend, both the constant and trend are found to be statically significant. So I'm going to retain the constant and trend because they are both found to be statically significant. When I regressed it on, when I regress this CAR on its constant and trend, they are both statically significant. So I'm going to select this, okay, and sim simply click OK. Now, when you click OK, you look at the property values of these two uh, tests here, method here. The ADF Fisher chi square, as you can see, the probability value here is greater than 0 0.05, and also looking at the second one here, it's also greater than 0 0.05, which means that um, both of them are not statically significant at 5%. What it simply means here is that our CAR here is not stationary at levels, it is not stationary at levels, and the reason being that the probability values here are both greater than 0 0.05. We're going to test at first difference, okay? Simply click view. You need to test this time around. You select first difference, okay? Then click OK. As you can see, the bull probability value is now less than 0 0.05, which shows that they are stationary at first difference. As you can see here, bull probability values here are now less than 0 0.05, which shows that CAR is stationary at first difference. So I'll simply click this. All right, for me to perform a new test on LVG, I'll regress this LVG on its constant and trend again to check if they are both statically significant for me. To enable me to perform unit to test on it. So I'll simply click quick estimate equation, then type LVG space C space at trend. Okay, at trend. Then method should be least square, simply click OK. Now, once you click OK, you discover the constant here C is not statically significant at 5%, and the reason being that the probability value here is greater than 0 0.05, as you can see. However, if you look at the trend here, the trend here is statically significant. And the reason being that probability value here is less than 0 0.05, meaning when performing neutral tests on LVG, I'm going to restrict the constant and allow the trend to remain. Okay, so I'll simply close this. 
going to form you need to test on LMVG. I'll simply double click this and click view. You need to test. Okay, we'll start with level form. We're using ADF. Okay, here we discovered that we don't have specification for only trend because as you can see here we only have for individual intercept and trend so because we don't have speaking for only trend i'm going to select individual intercept and trend remember when i performed um when i regressed lvg on each constant and trend the constant was not cyclic silicon but the trend is so we don't have specification for only trend here so i'm going to select individual intercept and trend we'll start with the level form and simply click ok now clicking ok look at these two property values here as you can see they are both less than 0 0.05 what it simply means here is that the LVG is stationary at levels, okay? It means that it is integrated at order zero. The reason why the property values here are less than 0 0.05 means that it is stationary at levels. So I'll simply close this again. Now let's repeat the same process for ROA. Simply click quick estimate equation. Then we'll type in ROA space C space at trend. Okay, method should be this way. Then click OK. Now, after you have almost start click OK, look at the constant here. The constant here is not cyclic significant at 5%, and the reason why the probability value here is greater than 0 0.05. But the trend here is statistically significant, significant at 5%, and the reason why the probability value here is less than 0 0.05. Meaning, when performing neutral tests on ROA, I will restrict constant and retain trend. Okay, simply close this. To perform neutral tests on ROA, simply double click this, then click View. Go to unit to test. We'll start with the level. We don't have specification for only trend, so I'm going to retain individual intercept and trend. Remember, when we perform unit to test on, I mean, when we regress ROA on each constant and trend, the constant was not statistically significant, but the trend is. But we don't have specification for only trend, so I'm going to retain individual intercept and trend. Then I'll simply click OK. Looking at two probability values here, you discover that are both statistically significant at five percent, and the reason means that they are less than zero point. 0.5 as you can see which means that our ROA here is stationary at levels meaning that it is integrated at order 0 and the reason is that probability values here are less than 0 0.05 looking at the unit root test okay from our result here we discover that the CAR is stationary at first difference meaning that it's integrated at order 1 while the LVG and ROA are stationary at levels meaning that integrated at order 0 so our variables here have passed the unit root test okay meaning that they are of mixed order Okay, of the missed order of integration of order one and order zero. So we can go ahead and perform our panel ELDL. For us to do that, simply click quick, go to estimate equation, dependent variable comes first, which is ROA space C space the first independent variable CAR and the second dependent variable LBG. Okay, under method here, click this round down button and select PMG ELDL. Okay, now under options here. You have model selection criteria, we have uh, about three of them. Whichever one you want to use, can you justify them in your work? However, I'll rely on AIC for this for this um, estimation. Okay, click back a specification to go back to original box here. Under automatic life selection, I'll allow the EVs to do automatic life selection for me. For dependent variable for for independent variables also for. Under fixed regressor specification, under fixed regressor train specification here. Click this round button and select linear trend. We are going to select linear trend to check whether the constant and trend are both size significant. If they are, we we'll retain them in the ARDL model. However, if they are not, we are going to restrict them. Okay, selecting linear trend, you click OK. Okay, now first of all, you look at the constant and trend of this result. As you can see here, the constant is not size significant at 5%, and the reason being that property value here is greater than 0.05. And the trend also is not cyclically significant at 5%, as you can see here. The reason being that the probability value is greater than 0 0.05, looking at the trend here. So, the, I mean, the trend here and the constant, both of them are not cyclically significant at 5%. So, I'm going to restrict them when performing ARDL here. So, we're going to reestimate this and restrict these two. So, we'll simply click back estimate, then click this round down button and select none because the constant and trend were not cyclically significant at 5%. Then click OK. Now once you click OK, you have your regression result here. First of all, you look at your error correction term. Ensure that it is negative less than 1 and statistically significant, as you can see here. It is statistically significant, the reason being that property value here is less than 0 0.05. And it's also negative, as you can see, and also less than 1, as you can see here. Now what it simply means here is that we have a long-run equilibrium relationship between the dependent and independent variable. 
and the reason means that the error correction time here is statistically significant, negative and less than 1. Now looking at this coefficient value here, if you multiply this by 100, you have 56.53%. What it simply means is that if there is any disequilibrium in this system, it takes an average speed, average speed of 56.53% to return back from short run to the long run. If there is any disequilibrium in this system, it takes an average speed of 56.53% to return back from the short run to the long run. Okay, meaning there is a high speed of adjustment from the short run to the long run if there is any disequilibrium in this system. Now looking at the long run results here, we have for CAR, as you can see the property value here is less than 0.05, which shows that our CAR here is statistically significant and it's also positive, which shows that CAR here have a positive and statistically significant relationship with L with um, ROA. Okay, with ROA. It means that our CAR here is positive and statistically significant or uh, positive and statistically significant, meaning that it has a positive and statistically significant relationship with ROA. Okay, with ROA here. At the ROA here. Now looking at the LBG here, we discover that the LBG here is negative. Okay, meaning that the LBG have a negative relationship with ROA. However, if, if you look at the probability value here, the probability value here is less than 0.05, meaning that it has a significant relationship with ROA. So what it simply means is that LBG have a negative or significant significant relationship with ROA. It has a negative or significant relationship with ROA. Okay, as you can see here. For us to look at the result for individual banks, simply click view. Okay, select cross section short run coefficient. You can see the result for individual banks here. Okay, as you can see here, for the first bank, we we'll have this. For the second bank, we we'll have this. For you to save this result, simply click freeze. Okay, click name. You can give it bank results. Okay, bank results. Okay, then you click OK. We have it here. You can close this. Okay, double clicking this, you have it here, bank results, okay, for individual banks, okay. Alright, for us to look at the model selection graph, okay, to check which particular uh, um, graph give, give us the best results, simply click view, select model selection summary, criteria graph, as you can see, the best model here is 344, ARDL 344 here, as you can see here, and it was found to be better than all of this here, okay, look at it here, 344. When we go back to our estimation, click start to look at it. We have it here, 344, which is our best model selection result. Okay, so basically, this is how to perform panel ERDL using eViews. Okay, if it's your first time of coming to our channel to watch our video, kindly click the subscribe button to get more video updates on analysis. And kindly share this video with friends or whoever that might have it for them for the academic or research purpose. Okay, thank you for watching.